Here on YouTube, I get asked the same questions day in and day out. And probably the most common question that I get asked is whether it is possible to make a trumpet mouthpiece out of hot melt glue and a glue gun. And I don't know the answer to that. So today we are going to find out. The first step, however, is going to be taking this extrusion of uh, modeling clay that a neighbor's dog left on my front lawn and to make a mold of the inside of the mouthpieces. So I'm going to take a little piece of my dog entrail extrusion, uh, roll it out into a long line, and then slowly feed that into the mouthpiece. What I'm going to do is apply a little bit of heat to the outside of the mouthpiece just to solidify this moulding uh, clay just a little bit. The key to doing this is to be very very gentle and not to be high handed in any of the techniques. So the best thing for it is a butane torch. And now we're not going to touch this mouthpiece because it's going to be very hot so I'll use some pliers to hold it. But we still have the problem of how we're going to get the mould out. And so the best tool I've got is an air compressor. Whoa. Um, okay, perhaps perhaps that was um, slightly too enthusiastic. Let's uh, let's be a little bit more careful in future. Uh, so let's start again. Ah, this piece of music has just got splattered with a bit of clay, so that's perhaps not the best approach. Okay, third time lucky. What we're going to do this time is try and do this by hand. So we'll form a bit of an approximate taper through this and use this as the inside part just to make sure that it's, you know, approximate. Alright, so that's not long enough. That is going to be the inside of our mouthpiece. As for the cup, let's just smush some uh, of this stuff on the top, sort of form it around the edge because we want a nice smooth rim, and take it out. That's going to be the cup of our mouthpiece. So let us get constructing. This is my hot glue gun. This is a spare stick of hot, uh, hot melt glue just in case we need it. So let's get to work. Now, this stuff is hot. I'm going to burn myself. If you copy me, take steps not to do that. Right, there's safety out of the way. As the hot glue dries, we want to... Oh, I've left it down here. Ah, oh, penis! Ow! 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 Right. Uh, that worked brilliantly. All right. What plane are we on to now? I don't know. Is this... Ow. This time, we're going to take the outside of the mouthpiece, we're going to coat the outside in this modelling clay, and then we're going to use the outside as a mould, and try to make our own taper by using this thin piece of metal. Now, is this going to come out cleanly? More or less. Perfect. Oh, flowers. Right, hot glue's in. And whilst it gets slowly more mushier and mushier, let's see if we can make a hole through there. Right, let's leave this for a couple of minutes just to harden. Right, here we go, there's a bit of a mess here. Is this hot? Ow! Yes! Right, so hopefully this has now solidified, so we should be able to take the... Oh, not that pile. This stuff off. Good, that's not great, but could be worse. Now let's try to... Oh. 
Now that comes under the heading of things that I probably should have realised that glue's going to stick. So I need to... Oh. Oh. Uh, right, I need to take this out before this goes hard. And as this dries, I'm going to make a hole as close to the middle as possible. That's probably not dry enough. And indeed I can see through it, mostly. We might be on the road to success. Okay, we will now take this sort of bison's penis that I've got and take the clay off. There we go! How perfect could that be? Amazing. So this is the shank of our mouthpiece. We just need to wash it with a little bit of water and I think that will be lovely. So now we have to make the cup and to make the cup I'm actually going to do something fairly similar. I'm going to take this modelling clay, wrap it around the, out, uh, the top, fill it with hot glue and then try to displace that hot glue with this mould of the inside that we made before by shoving this on the top. Oh, that's not going to work at all. Let's just try to make a cavity. Uh. Right, so what I'm trying to do here is make a cavity in the middle. And... Ah! Ow! Ow, that's hot! Oh, it's leaking out the bottom. Man, I'm clever. And then use this, which is slightly smaller, to make a hole down the middle. In fact, what we might do is leave that there and just glue around it. Right. Oh, that was a dumb idea. That's just gone and making everything worse. Oh, poos. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, cauliflower. Ah, ow. Ow. That's hot. This time I've got the uh, mould of the inside of the cup and I've shoved my screwdriver through there to represent where the air goes. I've done it off centre because that's how it's supposed to be or something and I'm just going to cover this with hot glue. Having run out of hot glue I'm going to use my mouthpiece to push the glue from the back. Right and before that dries let's shove the shank on it there. Now, will my mouthpiece come out? Ow, that's hot! Okay, let's take my screwdriver out. Ow! 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 Dumb idea. Ow! That's hot. Okay, so this is more or less dried now, so let's try and take this clay out of it. And we have our mouthpiece. Brilliant! Let's see if we can... Yep, the hole goes all the way through. So what I need to do now is just give this a bit of a wash in some water to get rid of the clay. So I'll do that and be back with you in a moment. A few moments later. It is time for the moment of truth. I have my rather awful hot glue mouthpiece here. Let's see if it works on a trumpet. First sign of success is that it fits, largely because the mouthpiece is squishable and quite, you know, flexible. I've just decided to interrupt my own uh, broadcast to bring you an announcement. If you want to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with uh, the videos and things that I release, please consider doing so by pressing this button here. If you want to receive notifications every time I release a video so you can be the first person to write first in the comment section, then ensure you enable that by clicking on this icon. If you want to help me bring more videos like this, quality programming example to you then please consider becoming a supporter on patreon you can do that by checking out the link in the video description below doesn't make a sound no but i can tell that there's an air leak around the top here so what i'm going to do uh, is get some tape and try and tape it up 
I've put some insulation tape around where I think the leaks are, uh, so there is no reason now why this won't be a roaring success. Ah, oh no, there's another hole right on the inside of the mouthpiece rim. Let's fix that one. I would of course use hot glue if I had any left, but I don't. So I've now fixed the other leak that I found. So there is no reason now why this shouldn't be a roaring success. Okay, I need to make the hole down the middle a little bit bigger. Okay, I've used a drill bit to enlarge the hole that goes down the middle of the mouthpiece. So let's try it again. And there is no reason why this should not be a roaring success. Oh, I need to cover the hole with my finger, don't I? There we go, a roaring success, thank you very much. Is it possible to make a mouthpiece out of hot glue and tape and things? And the answer is of course yes. So if you do not have the money to spend $5 on a cheap Chinese rip-off mouthpiece, you can instead spend many tens of dollars on materials and time and make yourself one of these fascinating, useful uh, objects to use as your mouthpiece. Thank you so much for watching.